So I've been using this controller a lot, the Wiko pad, and uh, playing it an awful lot. And between that, texting all the time, and doing yard work, the joint on my thumb here has been getting tired, so I keep looking over at my Atari 5200 controller, which I have hooked to this for the keypad and start buttons. Um, but I could never use it for my games because the the buttons don't work, the trigger buttons don't work. I would take it apart to keep to keep cleaning it to keep the keypad and these buttons working. It has to be open quite frequently. But um, I just never bothered with those buttons because they're hard to get to. But recently found out, well, I just I experimented and figured out that with a flathead screwdriver you could pop this button out just enough to clean behind it both of them and uh, voila I got it working I have a fully functional Atari 5200 pad now so uh, which is great so now I've been trying it on different games uh, Missile Command excellent controller Super Breakout excellent controller Pac-Man I already knew that was a bad controller for that because I didn't need these buttons for that so I, I had already tested and was like, ugh, not not good controller. Um, it just depends on the game, really. Most games you're gonna want a quick, snappy self-centering, so the Wicko is gonna be the one to use. But certain games really don't you do not want that self-centering, and that's why the Wicko actually has switches on the bottom of there. And then voila, it just stays where you place it you know which is exactly what you want for like a game like missile command but anyway yeah it's just nice this left thumb can completely rest and uh trigger finger and right hand for the stick so it's really just perfect perfect for the games that work perfect with it which it's probably less than half of them, but hey, I really like it for what it is. You wouldn't think, but some reason Pengo works good with it too. Forget Pac-Man, but Pengo, that's okay. That'll work with this.